What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the firing range in Modern Warfare 2 and some inconsistencies and bugs that appear in this that don't actually apply to the game itself. And the main reason I'm bringing this up is from my gun guide series. I share all the damage profiles and I've gotten to the battle rifles now, which have some interesting one hit kill zones. And many people noticed that they weren't getting the same results when they were testing their guns in the firing range. And the best example of this is my most recent gun guide covering the TAC V Marksman Rifle in semi-auto mode. This gun is not a one-shot kill anywhere in the body. And I can even show my work here with the exact damage values. This requires three accounts to get these damage values in case you're wondering. The third account is the Codcaster that I recorded separately. But you can see the exact amount of damage that I'm dealing per shot against this enemy player. And no matter where I shoot them, the absolute maximum damage I can deal with a single bullet is 98 damage. And this is with a headshot, and therefore this does 98 damage to the head. Now, let's take this into the firing range, and this is the exact same setup, once again, in semi-auto mode, where we're dealing the most damage possible. And in the firing range, if I shoot the enemy right in the head, it's not a one-hit kill. However, it looks like if you shoot them in the neck or sort of like the chin area, you will actually get a one-shot kill against these dummies. And so this obviously leads many people to believe that there is actually a bugged out neck shot multiplier that allows you to get a one-hit kill. But with all my testing in a custom game against an actual character model, not these dummies in the firing range, there is no separate neck shot multiplier, there's no bug here, there is no ability to get a one shot kill against a full health enemy. And that's what you see with my testing here, I'm trying to find that zone where I'm shooting the chin or the neck, and you'll see I'm either getting the upper torso damage or I'm getting the headshot damage, there's no in between there. So obviously this is just a bug with the firing range. This doesn't apply to real matches. You can't really trust that particular multiplier zone. And it's actually worth noting, if you look at the accuracy value on the top left of the screen while in the firing range, if I'm shooting them anywhere else, I'm just gonna be getting 100% accuracy for my hits. However, when I hit this next zone, now I'm suddenly able to get up to 200% accuracy, which should only be possible if I'm hitting two targets with a single bullet. And therefore, that is likely what we're seeing with this bug here. We're getting double the amount of damage to that particular multiplier. It counts twice for some reason. And as a result, you have to be very aware of this next shot multiplier if you are testing out your guns in the firing range. The moment you hit that next shot multiplier, any testing that you're doing doesn't actually apply to real matches. So if you're looking for headshot damage, make sure you're hitting them right in the middle of the head, like the face or like the top of the head, even just to be extra safe. And if you're trying to find an upper torso multiplier, don't go too high to the point where it might count as a neck shot. Otherwise, you may end up getting incorrect results. Now, that's not the only thing that's wrong with these dummies, and another big thing I've seen pointed out is people pointing to hit detection issues in the actual game while using these firing range dummies as an example of that, or as evidence of these apparent hit detection issues. And once again, this is just a case of these dummies not aligning with actual character models in an actual game. In the firing range, one thing you might notice is right around the belly button area, there is a gap between the groin area and the torso area, and you can, in fact, shoot bullets directly through this without getting a hit marker on the target. And this isn't even the only spot. This is just the most obvious spot that's really easily replicated. But it seems like even in the torso area, there's a few spots where there's just like a gap between hitboxes. Or like in this case right here, right below the groin, you can actually get a hit marker even though you're not on the target at all. And then another thing you may notice is if you start shooting at these dummies before they are fully back in place and locked up, you won't get hit markers on them. And I've seen people use all of these cases as evidence of hit detection issues in the game itself. And the main thing I wanted to point out in today's video is these dummies just can't be trusted as perfect stand-ins for a real character model in the game. And they also can't really be used as evidence of hit detection issues in the game itself. Now that's not to say that there aren't any hit detection issues in the game. Of course, there are situations where hit detection kind of sucks. All I'm saying here is you can't really trust these firing range dummies too much, and you can't use them as evidence of hit detection issues against actual character models, because they're just totally different. And this is why I was really hoping that this firing range would have actual character models, just like the COD Mobile firing range. With that game, you have the option to switch between the standard like pop-up flat 2D targets, 
or actual character models. You can make them spawn in the firing range and you can shoot at them. And I really like that they do that, and I wish they would do that with Modern Warfare 2. It would be great if they could spawn a real character model to just stand in place there, or maybe even run back and forth like you can do in the COD Mobile firing range, because then that should give you a much more accurate depiction of what you'll be experiencing in a real match against a real character. On top of that, I feel like anytime I mention the firing range, I want to tag on my little wish list for the firing range because I think there's still so much room for improvement and so much potential here. I would love to have a character model or even just a dummy that I can set the exact distance on so you can push it further away or make it come closer. And that could allow you to test range drop offs a lot more efficiently. Additionally, I'm sure many of you guys would love to see this. Actual damage values would be great, even if they just put it on the top left corner of the screen alongside the accuracy value there. If they could show the exact amount of damage you deal for every shot that hits, that would be incredible and would really help us with our testing. And then finally, another thing that I would love to see in the firing range that could really go a long way is a recoil testing wall. So a nice clean wall that you can shoot at that really clearly displays bullet holes, preferably that gives you enough distance as well. So you're far enough away that you can see really small changes in your recoil. And then on top of that, with that recoil wall, I'd love a little reset button. So you can collect a bunch of recoil plots, but the moment you wanna clear that and start from scratch, it should give you full control over doing that. If we had all of those things available in this firing range, I think that would be so incredible. It would make it so you guys would have to rely a whole lot less on my gun guide series as well. You could do the testing for yourself and I would love for you guys to be able to do that. In either case, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Just wanted to make sure you guys were all aware of the bugginess of these firing range dummies and the fact that you just can't really trust them to be perfectly accurate. Although to be fair, I feel like I was pretty harsh on these. Most of the time, if you're not hitting those gaps between the hitboxes or you're not hitting that neck hitbox, it is actually quite accurate. It does now have proper damage multipliers aside from that one zone which they didn't actually have before season one, so at least they've made some improvement there. And you can get a pretty good indication of how many shots it takes to kill at various ranges. You just have to be quite careful with this. But with that, this is where I wanna hear from you guys in the comment section down below. What do you think of the current state of the firing range in Modern Warfare 2? Are you generally happy with this firing range? Or would you like to see some improvements like the ones I listed or maybe some other improvements that I didn't even list in today's video? Just let me know all of those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.